Hey, what's up, geeks? Uh, Duran here, and in this video, we're going to cover uh, stack navigation. Now, this is uh, something that's more for beginner intermediates. Uh, React navigation changes up all the time. So, basically, I'm going to go through uh, the setup for uh, stack navigation, and then I'm going to also show you how you can pass data from one screen to the other. So, now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go to React Navigation's website. So getting started, I like to do everything with the yarn. So I'm gonna copy that I'm on my desktop. So I'm gonna change my directory to oh. I don't know why it doesn't just fill that in for me. I don't know why all this other stuff and just making my life difficult. So now we're in stack navigation. I'm gonna run that command. Yarn add which did not copy for whatever reason. Ugh. Now we have that package within our uh, project. I'm going to go ahead, do the next uh, installation. Add that to our project. Okay, and uh, what's next? Change my directory to iOS, pod install. All right, now we're done with that. Go back one directory, go back to uh, React Navigation's website, then I'm going to import in the index.js. I'm going to import this into my index.js file. It says you have to import this at the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything just to be safe. Whoa. Okay. Cool. Looking good. All right. And then now all you need is to do wrap into navigation container. So before I even do that, I have to install stack. So the stack. Okay. What's the installation of that though? Go back. All right, here it goes. So I'm going to do run this command. Okay, cool. It's a lot of dependencies. All right, so while we're doing this, I'm actually going to stop Xcode. I'm gonna close this all out because we did that pod installation. So this wouldn't even run anyways. So I'm going to clear this out, run yarn, start. So something's already Something's already got this going on. Yep. So, get out of that, close that down. Um, start. Okay, there we go. All right. So anyways, close this out. I'm going to create a router.js file okay cool now what's it want me to do I'm going to I'm just going to grab all of this right here paste that in here won't need my view and then I'm going to import Import my screen, so I have my home screen, and then I have my post screen. All right, let's 
now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead, gonna copy this. Actually, we can copy all of this. Paste that in there just like that. And I have my home screen and now I have to create one more. Call this my post. Now we're in business. So let me go ahead and need to run my project. Oh, I need to open up Xcode. Go ahead and do that. All right, cool. So the project is back up and running. And as you can see, we have our awesome uh, Dragon Ball Z characters, Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and Frieza. And I'm a Dragon Ball buff. Now, I love Dragon Ball. But, um, cool. Now we have the project up and running. I'm going to go ahead. I have to actually import my navigation. So let me go ahead and import the navigation container. No. Import export default app. No. I'm going to so be navigation. Call it app navigation. It's going to be app navigation. Now I'm going to import app navigation. Alright. So I can move these screens and add app navigation. Oh, so I have to remove this header. So let me see how do you do that. Remove header. Exactly, we want to be at now. Let me go back to my go into my home container, home screen. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and destructure our props. Well, actually, I'm just going to grab our props and I'm going to console log it just so I can give you guys an idea of how um, props are passed down to uh, components that are within uh, being used by well, that are wrapped around uh, React navigation. So let's grab those props. I'm going to actually turn on the debugger so that you guys can actually see how this works. So if I inspect this, console log, okay, everything's running in. And as you can see, these are our props, right? So we are each one of our components each one of our screens gets all of these props you can see we have a route prop and a navigation prop navigation has a collection of functions that are built into it that allows you to go from one screen to another screen and to also you know do other cool things but what we're going to do we're going to just go ahead and use the uh, navigate prop that's passed into our navigation so i'm going to go ahead and just destructure our props when we destructure our props this is what it looks like. So let me just go to place props with navigation. And now, as you can see, now we just grab all those functions from navigation. We don't have to uh, make any kind of reference to navigation because we brought it in. We just destructured our props. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to apply the on press method to my uh, card. When I on press, I'm going to use my navigation prop, navigation.navigate. And if you remember, our post screen and our router, our post is named post. So I have to reference post. So I'm typing post. 
save that and now when i click on this it's going to navigate redirect us back to our post screen so let me see hold on I must did not use my post that's what i'm thinking that my router exactly so i'm using my home screen so i'm gonna go ahead and just add post screen now see how that works so we click here redirects us to the screen and it includes more information that we can use now you see that all the data is the same regardless if we're picking clicking on piccolo frieza vegeta etc so we have to go ahead and fix that now to actually pass our um, our data from one screen to the other by adding a comma to our navigate we're actually um, allowing our next screen to grab all of the data that's tied to each specific card so I'm going to go ahead and just console log our item so you can see how it looks so item is what really actually contains our data Let's say item Once you I must have did something wrong one second. That's what it was. Right. I wonder why is it doing that? But anyways, on press, type that back in. Navigation. Dot navigate. Post. Passing our item. I'm going to go ahead and console log. Our item, which holds our data. Now, when I check out the uh, simulator, you can see that. Oh, this is all of the data that each one of these items contain. You can see it contains the description, the image, and the, the name. We have the same thing for Piccolo. We have the same thing for uh, Vegeta, Frieza, etc. So when I actually click on, I'm going to go ahead and just click on Vegeta. All right, so now because Vegeta is active, I'm going to go to the post screen. It kind of bothers me that, that, that it's doing that, but whatever. It's obviously a false error that I've never gotten before. So now when I go ahead, I'm going to look at the props tied to this screen. Console log it. And I'll say what's up just so you guys know that it's different. Console log my props. What you're going to see is all the data that was passed in. So as you can see, when we go to route, check out our route parameter. We can see that it has params, and then it passes in all that data. It passes in uh, Vegeta's name and image. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to destructure my props like I did last time. Reference route. I'm going to say const. We're going to destructure our route further. So route.params. I'm going to grab the name, the image, and the description. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and just update this. And just pass an image. So I'll say that. You can see now it's updated to Vegeta. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for our name. So I'll set it Goku. Pass their name. Vegeta. And I'm going to get rid of all this description right here. Oh, what is that all about? Okay. If they say Pippin ain't easy, coding ain't easy. Description. And as you can see, it passes in a uh, all of Vegeta's information. Vegeta's a slim, very well-built man. <laughs> so that's Vegeta's information. Now if we click on Frieza, you see it passes in Frieza's data, Piccolo, and uh, Goku. 
So that's how stack navigation works. And that's how you pass data from one component or from one screen to another screen. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. You know, um, I love doing these videos for you guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.